The Brian Crabtree Show On Demand is brought to you by Bright Path Mortgage, Brilliant Mortgage Solutions, BrightPath.com. The Brian Crabtree Show, live in Atlanta, afternoon starting at 4 on Biz 1190, Biz1190.com, and the Biz1190 mobile app. Actually, we're thinking about the possibility of going bankrupt. That's because they're nearly $50,000 in the hole to a contractor that they hired to make their dream home just right. The work started in June of last year, but today there are still exposed wires, gaping holes in the floor, and sheetrock slapped on top of the old sheetrock throughout the house. Look at the fixtures. I mean, they're all buried in mud. And after cutting a stack of checks, the Smiths claim Ronnie Murphy with JDM Contracting has disappeared. He's been saying the same thing for three months, that I'm coming tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. He crushed our dreams. I contacted Murphy over the phone, and he denied any wrongdoing. You can put this on the news. I said this, okay? You or nobody else ever in your life is going to stand up and call me a thief because I don't take nothing to nobody. That may be the case, but an investigator with Cherokee County Sheriff's Office confirmed with me that Murphy is the focus of an active criminal investigation. The investigator says there are two reports out of Cherokee against him, one case in Cobb County, another in Bartow County, and yet another complainant coming forward in Floyd County. My goodness. Channel 2 Action News report there. Uh, Welcome to fraud in America. American greed. Uh, I love that show because it exposes really what you see uh, going on in our country when you try to do business. I don't trust anybody in business anymore. I mean, think of these poor people on this Channel 2 Action News report who have, have forked out $50,000 to this contractor and who has left them holding the bag and is now has a criminal investigation ongoing. And they all have that same thing. You heard it there just a moment ago. Well, I ain't going to tell you this. You can put it on a record. I don't ever do nothing to cheat nobody. I'm as honest as day is long. Let me quote you a scripture verse. I got one of these right now. We're building a second home. And it has been the biggest nightmare of a business transaction ever in my life. It, 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 tops, it tops it. It's every conversation is almost like a lawsuit litigation case where you have to go through all of the evidence and, and look back at what's been said and done. Never once do you hear the words, what can I do to make it right, make you happy? He probably thinks, well, I have no way I make him happy. He, ta- he, calls my, he calls my wife. He talks to my wife. He says, well, you know, he, you're so, your husband's immature. I'm immature because I get upset and tell him what I think of him because at, trying to be nice for the last nine damn months hasn't worked. This is what, fa- what you face. And the reason, when you deal with contractors, what I've learned over the years, I don't know, let me assign a percentage to it, at least half, maybe 60% of them, they really have no idea what their total costs are. They, what they do when they bid a job is they inflate everything. That way, when, that, that way they can be mentally lazy. The, the contractor who really is difficult up front and somewhat expensive has kind of nailed down all their costs. But a lot of these contractors, they just pull the numbers out of their rear end and they don't fully investigate the scope of the work. And when they run into a problem that they didn't properly anticipate, they want to give you a change order and ask you to pay more money, whether you're renovating your bathroom or building a brand new mansion. It doesn't matter what it is. The minute they run into something they should have known and advised you of in advance, they then want a change order. I've started turning my renovation contracts on houses, particularly into a turnkey deal. This means when you deliver this house, and I do it, here's how I'm able to do it. I buy all the materials. That way, that gets them comfortable with this deal. I'm buying all the materials. You go to Lowe's and Home Depot. I approve a list. I'll pay for it on my account with Lowe's or Home Depot. You pick up the materials. You go install them in the house. That way, if there's some material increase, I have the opportunity at the point of purchase to say no or to go search for a better deal. I don't get stuck something in my face I got to live with. And so basically, I say it's turnkey, meaning if you discover something you should have found you didn't, I'm not paying you any more money and you're going to finish the deal. And they don't, oh, they don't like, oh, the next one, we're not going to do that way. Well, then get your damn numbers straight up front. See, they have no idea what their costs are. They don't track their numbers. They just write out checks. And what this couple is running into in Cherokee County and others, including perhaps us and on our second home, is this contracting of a new construction is the ultimate Ponzi scheme. Anything over fifty dollars to $100,000 in construction costs that you do on your existing home or in a new home is the ultimate Ponzi scheme. What I mean by that? 
So these contractors, they have a spec home going, they have a couple houses they're building for people, maybe they're doing a renovation project or two, and, and they just lump it all together. They co-mingle all the numbers. They don't run QuickBooks, most of them in a formal way. And so what ends up happening is they just borrow from the next project to pay the previous project and then from the next, and, and all the while they're dipping in the kitty, spending the money. None of this is technically illegal as long as they don't have liens on your home when they're done and they pay all the, you know, the bills. But what ends up happening is the, the, they build and build and build on this. They borrow from the banks. They borrow from their consumers and the, and the people that own their homes. And eventually the market goes bad, and they're stuck with a couple of spec homes and a couple of houses. They can't finish. Banks come in, swoop in. They go bankrupt, and then they just reset and start all over. It's a cycle every 10 to 17 years. The other thing they do that drives me nuts is they take on more projects than they can handle. And you go, well, yeah, but they're making money on top of what it actually costs to build. Yes, they are, but they're spending the money too fast because they're not tracking their delta between the cost and what they're charging. And so they presume and assume they have more profit. Contractors generally are, not all, but many are very ignorant. What do they do with the money? Just look around their house and look at where they live. Trips, cars, boats, big houses, elaborate vacations. They run some women around. Drugs and more. Our contractor said, seems to me, maybe I'm wrong, seems to me he goes on vacation about once a month. And while that could have been said by, about me in the past, I worked while I was on vacation. Good luck getting him on the phone. The house could be on fire. And he, I mean, it's, it's, so when you're dealing with this, you literally could go bankrupt dealing with new construction. And apparently this couple is contemplating it in Cherokee County. And a lot of these people... It's not that they go out and intend to defraud people. They get so far in the hole without money, they don't know what to do, which is actually just as criminal, if not worse. The Brian Crabtree Show On Demand is brought to you by Bright Path Mortgage, Brilliant Mortgage Solutions, brightpath.com. The Brian Crabtree Show, live in Atlanta, afternoon starting at 4 on Biz 1190, biz1190.com, and the Biz 1190 mobile app. 